What is up guys, Jerry KMPZ, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the custom X Diablo series where we are customizing a brand new 2019 X Diablo S and then giving it away when we're done. Uh, if you'd like to support and be entered to win this bike and a bike of your choice, check out the Patreon page, it's always the first link in the description below. Today I'm headed over to Santa Barbara Ducati to get the drag style handlebars installed. Christina's following me with all of the stuff that we're going to be needed for today's episode and I am super, super excited for it. Um, if you didn't see the last episode, we installed a set of BST Rapid Tech carbon wheels. I believe the first set to go on an XD Oval worldwide and I was having trouble explaining how the wheels felt and since I've been able to ride it a little bit more and experience the wheels a little bit more. Um, the best way I can describe it is it literally feels like there aren't wheels on the bike. It feels like the bike is just floating. It's a really odd sensation and it's absolutely insane. I've never felt anything quite like this because I've never stripped off 30 wheel, 30 pounds with a set of wheels before. But um, yeah, it's just insane how well the bike handles now. It completely changed the look and the feel of the motorcycle and I'm stoked about it. Um, also, I have an announcement, uh, 650E, Manny from Motor Million and myself are all going to be at Coda, uh, April 12th to the 14th to watch the uh, MotoGP event. And um, if anyone's going to be there, let me know in the comment section below. We're thinking about doing maybe like a meetup or possibly a ride together or something like that. But uh, obviously, you know, we're there to watch the, the, the motorcycle racing and all that shit. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be epic. I'm super excited for it. And I think that's about it for announcements. So I'm going to enjoy my ride down to the Ducati dealer, meet up with Trevor and Christina, and we'll show you all the parts we're going to be installing today. I've been waiting for this one for so, so long. Stay tuned. All right, we have arrived. And for people who missed the carbon wheel episode, look at those beauties. Still the best mod we've done by far on this thing. I'm so, so excited. And then today, like I mentioned, we're going to be doing drag style handlebars. Let's take a look at what we got. Teens is here to help. The YouTube fan misses you, Teens. I was forced. She was forced into this. <laughs> so, Rizoma drag style handlebar. Again, all these parts we got through Manny at Moto Million. He's always linked in the description below. Let's see what we got here. I'm actually very curious to see how this thing even goes on. Trevor was saying it's pretty intense to install these, so we might have to split this into two episodes. We'll see. So there's the drag style handlebars. You want to hold it up over here? What do you think, Trev? Yeah. You like it? Like It'll it. sit a little bit more like back here, teens, you know? It'll be like in that. Yeah. Well, I can't really do that. So. It's going to be such a better line on the bike. Sweet. All right, let's show them the rest of the stuff. Yeah. All right. Now, guys, look at all the stuff that we're going to be installing on these. It's ridiculous. So, grips from Domino Grips. They're going to be replacing the stock grips. We're doing Rizoma Reservoirs, clear Rizoma Reservoirs for the front uh, brake and clutch reservoirs they look very nice yeah they look awesome and then these are the bell of the ball right here brembo master cylinders along with twm brembo or i'm sorry brembo master cylinders along with brembo clutch levers for both sides look at how gorgeous these are literally like race these are from manny he sent these over he's like you got to install these they are freaking incredible so this bike's gonna have like one of the best brake setups of like a racing bike and it's a freaking cruiser but hey, you could always use better brakes, right? What do we got here? Sure. Sure. What do we got here? Oh yeah, so I'm replacing the, uh, the part that goes over around the handlebars there. So I'm getting rid of that silver. It's going to be black, so everything will match. That's going to be gorgeous. It's going to look very nice. And then the last thing are the aero bar and mirrors. You guys have seen these puppies before. Yes, we have. And they're the best in my opinion. So that's what we're going to be using for those right there. And they should have bar end somewhere yeah there they are perfect again all this stuff from manny at moto million There's this is going to be a lot, lot of work for <laughs> yeah this is going to be a lot of work good thing it's a beautiful day so we might split this up into two episodes one getting the drag bars on and then another just installing all of this stuff onto it so stay tuned mm. teens is obsessed with animals so of course she wants to see like, sunny like Dietrich. do little <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah she really I is wish that would be a dream come true for what do you me. think are you impressed very He's smart. too smart for his own good. He's very smart. He's running this whole operation. <laughs> <laughs> he just hits Lay both on. of them. <laughs> now we're not dead. Roll over. Oh my god. <laughs> He's too intelligent. Let's balance another one on his Teens. Oh, yeah. Put one on there. I saw that. Mrs. So Mrs. Doolittle. Mrs. Doolittle. <laughs> 
Leave it. No, leave it. We're filming, Sonny. Leave Don't it. screw this up. <laughs> he threw it. <laughs> <laughs> you're out of the game. Sorry, you're fired, Sonny. You're not managing this anymore. All right, you heading out, teens? Yeah, you're going to post office. All right, we'll see you in a few. So Trevor's already installing, or uninstalling all of the stock stuff. So again, the mirrors are gone. Look at that. Actually, it looks way better with all that stuff removed already, but of course, these are going to be gone anyway. I don't like bars that come up at all. So um, yeah, getting rid of all of this stuff here. And he's just slowly making his way around. I thought the gas tank was going to have to come up, but it looks like it might not have to. We'll see. So I was getting Instagram messages about the uh, drag style handlebars. And for people who don't want to do drag style handlebars, just removing those, well, obviously don't remove all this stuff, but just taking the mirrors off and doing bar ends, look at how much better that looks already. Pulling the grips off. Easy peasy. I mean, <laughs> we pulled those off by hand, Trevor. It took me, my dad, and Christina, all of us, like 15 minutes to get one side off. He just did it in about five seconds. <laughs> what a show off. All right, up next, loosening up these bad boys. And then I got some new ones of these, right? Yeah. The black oh. ones? Yeah. Or is it Duka Bike? I think they're Duka Bike, yeah. There they are, just like that. So now the bars can come out of there. Wow, look at that. Slide this, the side off, because Trevor was saying it's ride by wire. That's how they do all the uh, rider modes and stuff. Look at the difference. That thing looks so ridiculous off the bike. It's gonna be a lot heavier too, huh? Yes, oh. I know. So we just realized <laughs> these handlebars actually don't work. I think these are for the Diavel, which is a little bit thinner, not for the X Diavel. So um, we're still gonna, Trevor said he can custom fabricate them to work if I want to, or we can search online and see if we can find another set of drag handlebars for the X Diavel. Um, but in the meantime, I think I'm gonna sit on this bike real quick and take a look at the seating position. And then what we'll have to do for today is do the, uh, we'll do the uh, Olin's uh, shock instead. So let's take a look here. I'm gonna hand the camera to Aaron. He's got his, uh, his uh, Monster R over there. I was actually checking it out earlier. I'll show you guys in a little bit. So let's take a look here at the pot, at the seating position. Oh, 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 oh. I like it. I think it's badass. Yeah, because stock I was like here, so it's really not that much different. I'm 5'10 for reference, so it's not like I'm super tall, but I think this will be really cool. It might even give you a little bit more maneuverability too, so what do you think, Trev? Something like this? Yeah, you yeah, more well, captured the front wheel. Yeah, and, and actually whenever I drive this bike aggressively, I get down anyway, so it makes more sense. I guess if you're just cruising, maybe you want to sit back, but when I get aggressive with it, I, I get down and, and into it a little bit more, so yeah, I think that'll be cool. All right, so unfortunately, we're gonna put the stock bars back on. We're just making Trevor do more work. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> and then uh, we'll do the spring instead, or the shock, I should say. So kind of a bummer, but uh, we'll find some bars and uh, we'll keep you posted on that. So we're just slowly putting stuff back together and we're searching for drag style handlebars in there. Carlin's taking a look for me. And uh, Trevor actually said he could make us some as well if we need to, so that'll be an option too. We're gonna leave the mirrors off because it's terrible for filtering around California. And since we'll be doing handlebars shortly, it shouldn't be an issue. So, yep, just putting it back together. Actually, it looks a lot better just without the mirrors like that. All right, guys, so instead of doing the drag style bars, we're gonna go ahead and do this bad boy right here. Olin's rear spring for the X Diavel S. Look at that bad boy. We had it come in black, and I think he ordered it for 180-ish pound rider, and that's how it's set up, so it should be pretty good for most people, but look at that thing, dude. Oh, God, I can't wait to see this thing installed. Stay tuned. So this is Aaron's bike, the guy that I was talking about earlier. This is his bike. Carlin's gonna take it for a test ride real quick because I just put wheels on it, but listen to that. Awesome racing, R version, looks so good, dude. Epic, all right, have fun, buddy. That thing sounds so good. Oh man, I want one of those, fuck. All right, so in order to do the shock, first thing we gotta do is remove our carbon fender here, and then I think we're gonna try and swing this bolt out here, and then he's gotta brace the bike up and then we're gonna try and swing this forward and see if we can get this out without taking too much apart here. So hopefully it's not too involved, but we'll see. They also gave us a new part for the holder of the uh, compression tank. Trevor's looking for a tool here for a minute. 
So I thought we would admire this beautiful Tricolore 1199. I still think that the twin Panigales are the most beautiful bikes ever made. Look at that thing. Oh my God. I just want too many bikes. I would love a, a Tricolore 1199. I'd love a 1299 Anniversario. I want a Monster R. <laughs> I want way too many bikes, but that thing looks incredible. Look at this lineup, dude. Badass bikes everywhere. Old school 9, 916, I think. Oh, it's so epic. I love Ducatis. All right, so this is Aaron. This is the guy I was talking about earlier that has the uh, Monster 1200R. What year is this? 2017. 2017. And how do you like it? Yeah. I love it like this. Yeah, this is nasty. So you put different bars on it, or did you flip those? Stock upside down. Stock upside down. Oh, that it's looks so perfect. good. Perfect angle, clears. And it looks cafe racered out. Yeah, a lot better lines this way from the side. Yes. I had the screen and a bunch of mirrors that stuck up. And then I did a little tape to make that disappear because it was a little too much. It looks so good. That's that, that's the line that you always want, is even with the tank. Yeah. Yep, that's what I always like. That's what I was trying to do with the XD Oval there. That's an awesome, awesome bike, dude. And is that an awesome racing exhaust? Austin Racing, yeah, I just had him take the emblem off because it was just too much for No my needed. Bike. Yeah, not needed. Gorgeous bike, man. Well, I think him and I are going to do some rides together, so I'm sure you'll see him again in the future. Oh, Enjoy, cool. brother. Awesome. Look at that thing, dude. So awesome. All right, meanwhile. <laughs> and when we have this off. <laughs> We're gonna be able to pick it up and have more access ah, to that okay, other cool. So we're yeah, so he's taking this whole entire part off here. And you know what's sad, Trevor? I have a a new part for this. It would have been a good time for it. That would be a perfect time for it. Well, I guess we're gonna have to just Hope you didn't uh, give you over. give you more work. No, she's down drinking at the uh, at Finney's. <laughs> so, all right, yeah, taking this whole thing off so we can get to that there. Stuff's happening. All right, so I'm actually gonna let Trevor do his thing for a little bit. I'm starving, I haven't ate anything at all today. It's four o'clock. So I'm gonna go meet Christina for a drink and a little appetizer, and then we'll head, head on back and see where he's at, so. Check this out, guys. This is downtown Santa Barbara. The beach is literally right there. The Ducati shop's like, <laughs> I walked for literally three minutes from where I was. This is State Street, goes up that way. See the mountains over there? And we are going to Finney's, which is right there. Just met up with the lady down here. Look at her eating a big old juicy pretzel. So I'm gonna split some of that with caramel as a side. And we both have beers. What are they? <laughs> orange, orange wheat. Blood orange wit. Blood orange wit. Cheers. All right, so I got a beer and a pretzel, old school style. Finney's. If you're local in town, check out this place. It's freaking amazing. We also ran into a, a nice family we were chatting with. Sun ran track and field, locals in Santa Barbara. I love this place. That's why this place is so awesome. We're gonna go back to uh, Santa Barbara Ducati, check in on Trevor, see how the shock is going. We abandoned him. We didn't even bring him any beer. But, uh, you can drink beer, Trevor. What are you gonna do? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Teens is abandoning us. She's abandoning us for the office. She's gonna sit you don't wanna be around with a bunch of dudes in motorcycles? Come on. <laughs> All right, fine, get out of here. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> Meanwhile, the saga continues. Oh, hard <laughs> <work>. <laughs> All right, so the boys got the shock on. We've got like 80 years of master mechanic experience here at work. Thank God, don't yeah. try to, to uh, replace one of these shocks at home, guys, because this is insane. Yeah. But on another word, look at how good that black frickin' spring looks with the bike. Oh my God, it looks so much better good. than that yellow one. You could. Good work, boys. So guys, Rory just started here, how long ago? A month ago? Month. Month ago. He worked for the Houston Superbike team? Is that what it is? HSBK Racing. HSBK Racing, yeah, I've he heard of that. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of that. But he has a badass um, MV, what is it? Turismo Veloce. Veloce. It's basically like the, the Ducati Multistrada, but it's the MV version. Nick, do you have it here? I'll have to show him next time. Yeah, it's in the comments. Yeah. But um, yeah, he's helping us out today. He's, also, he's from Australia. So we got a South African and an Australian working on the on an Italian bike right now. <laughs> it sounds like the beginning of a joke. Guys, look at all these parts. This thing is just littered with parts right now. Holy crap. Half the exhaust had to come off. They had to pull that whole pipe down. Good God. So reassembly has begun. Just refitting all the parts they took off. Look how big these freaking bolts are. It's insane. 
So I'm gonna let Trevor do his thing and I'll show you guys what it looks like in a few. All right, so fitting the carbon uh, fender back on and I can already tell you how amazing this all looks together. Look at that. It's coming together, guys. It's getting there. This was quite a bit of work, a lot more than I thought it would be. Trevor crushed it as always. Look at him. He just wants to go home and eat his ribs. <laughs> Trevor's installing the canister here. It doesn't use this uh, big ass rubber piece anymore, which is awesome. And uh, he's got a tiny little tool back here, giving it one little stroke at a time, and look how good that it's looks. It's not the one in my pants either. <laughs> not, the good the kind of, kind of not the good kind of stroking. <laughs> Guys, look at how badass that canister looks right there. The Olins and gold, it looks so sick. It cleaned up the bike so much. Little touches like that just look so good. And Trevor said the wheels, the carbon wheels with an R shock, or I mean an Olin shock like that, that really sets this build apart. Now we can call this an R model build. Look at this, guys. Look at how much better that looks. Holy shit balls. All right. Well, I can tell you already, um, this, this uh, shock makes a huge difference. It's weird because it's stiffer, but at the same time, it somehow absorbs bumps better too. And I mean, I guess that's why Olin's is the best. And uh, yeah, this thing is freaking, it's epic. It's just way less squishy, but at the same time, it absorbs everything so well. And I, this looks so much better just without the mirror. So uh, Carlin's searching for some drag handlebars. I'm gonna do some uh, searching for myself. If you guys know of any drag handlebars uh, that they make for this bike link it in the description below i'm gonna ask the patrons as well but um yeah this thing is epic man we're gonna cruise over to the beach here and take some photos to finish out the video i want to see if i can just get maybe a little bit more ride seat time on this i'll give you guys a more comprehensive review on the uh olin's rear spring in the future so stay tuned all right so we came down to the beach take a look at this bad boy it's starting to come along guys this thing is starting to look Pretty damn badass. What do you think, teens? You love it? Yeah. That black looks so much better, right? Look at that, guys. Now everything's black and silver down there. I did not think the shock was gonna make this much of a difference, but it really looks incredible. And then on this side, teens, you gotta see this. The Olin's canisters and gold. It looks so good. Look at that, guys. <laughs> I am in love. And without the mirrors, that already looks so much better. I can only imagine this thing with drag handlebars on it. It's gonna be epic. All right, so there you go, guys. That's the end of this episode of the XD Oval series. Um, finally, ran into our first hiccup. We're gonna get that sorted out and uh, get the drag bars installed soon. Uh, in the meantime, this Olin spring, well, shock, looks freaking incredible. I'm so happy with how that turned out. A lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. Trevor and Rory killed it. And yeah, I think that's it. So again, if you guys want to be entered to win this bike, check out the Patreon page. And uh, don't forget, there's that second grand prize, which is that motorcycle of your choice. That's worldwide. Hit us up if you're going to be at uh, Coda for Moto America. Um, you know, we'll be there with 650E and Moto Million and myself, Manny from Moto Million. And I think that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing. Give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.